So it's very important to do the onion first. So you put a bit of butter and then you put the onion and you let it stick a little bit onto the bottom of the dish. When it's thick, keep on adding a little bit of water and then stir. We call it in Kenya a koroga curry. Koroga means to stir. That's why it is. You keep on stirring. Now because the base is the same for vegetable and meat, um, in this one, in this pot, I've just cooked the tomato separately. Okay, from fresh tomato only. When that is done, I will put all of it in one pot, mix my spice, and then I can separate my two sauces, one with the vegetable and one with the meat. But once the onion are soft, I will add my ginger and garlic, which are very, very finely chopped. And just add. This is George, the assistant chef in Elephant Upper Camp, who will assist me with my cooking. Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. Um, when you do a curry, everyone should have a spice box. Very important. Okay. These are all the spice from the curry that you will need. Garam masala, curry powder, turmeric, uh, coriander ground, cumin seed, rock salt, much better to cook with rock salt, and some chili powder over there. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of cumin seed now in my mixture. And make sure you really go into the bottom to take all that nice um, sticking onion on the bottom because that's the one that gives you the little sweetness of the onion. George has um, cut our beef into pieces. He has browned it on the fry pan in the kitchen. Um, some carrots already cut in pieces. Some potato already cut in pieces and then you can add whatever you feel like you know you can add some um, cauliflower if you want to you can add some uh, butternut if you want to I like adding adding gorget over there. Back to our onion. Ooh nice and sticky. Just put a little bit of water George. So when you Onion are nice and soft and juicy. What we'll do, we're gonna start putting all of the tomato base that we have done inside. And then Koroga again. This is the time where I like to add all my other spice. A little bit of coriander ground. Garam masala. Is one of the base of curry. Turmeric, just put two, three sp little spoon enough. And I won't put the chili today because some guests don't like very much chili, and the Thai spice already have chili. So I will not put the chili. If any guests want to have more chili, then of course I can add when they are um, eating. Ah, di bonjour à la caméra. Ça sent bon? Oui. Oui, hein? Ça sent bon, hein? Ça, c'est du chili. Voilà. Bravo, bravo. A bit more like butter. Tant beef, right? Shy of putting butter. Butter is very good for you. Definitely. Also, it's a little bit of my French side. Okay. That's for you. Uh, George, you can take care of that. Remember? So a bit of the stock cube, we put it all of them over here. So our meat is now ready, um, liquid has been reduced. So what we're going to do is just um, pour half of the sauce, uh, curry sauce from this pot into the meat pot and leave half where we're going to put the vegetable. I think that's enough. Okay, sure. And then this one is sticking on the bottom, so we need to add a bit more water over there. 
and like we say we need to coroga that very quickly George you can add the meat spices put it all out yeah don't forget the nice big pieces in there now this will cook very slowly and we're gonna close some yeah, you can add the vegetable spice yes thank you now this can go high because it needs to boil now until until it reduces otherwise it'll be too liquid and you don't want um, the sauce to be too liquid you want the sauce to be really really stuck into the um, to stick into the vegetable right so now let's add uh, the carrots perfect and then we're gonna give it a, a good stir again let's put all the potato inside actually the meat uh, curry is nearly ready so what we can do with the meat curry now we're just gonna switch it off let it settle okay so now it's been uh, 15 minutes so we can add um, the zucchini inside mm -hmm. perfect uh, yep make sure that the zucchini is well imprinted of the sauce of the curry sauce very important we're gonna close it a bit cook it for just five minutes and then we're gonna switch it off and put our butter to settle what would you like to do next time next time we do osobuko an osobuko on the poiki why not thank you very much bye bye